Hi everybody, my name is Josiah White and I am going to offer a different way of cabling that I kind of developed my own way. Uh, I know that whenever I'm doing something complicated I like to watch several videos of different people to kind of understand it totally, make my own method. So I'm going to offer my own method. Um, this is somewhat based off of Kim, Gu Kim Guzman's video. I watched hers to learn and also read her book. Um, so she has a very good video out there. I'd recommend watching it first if you don't already know how to cable. To, to best view or best understand this video, should, you should obviously know how to Tunisian crochet. You should know how to cable and you should want to learn. So this method, I only use a single bobby pin. I don't use an extra crochet hook. I don't use a double-sided knitting needle. All I use is a bobby pin. I'll show you exactly how. Um, I made this technique because whenever I'm cabling, I always lose the loop. Either by stretching it tight or something like that. I always lose the loop and sometimes I have to do the previous row over again and it's really annoying. So I kind of made this way to counteract that. Basically, the loops never leave, leave the hook or the bobby pin. They're always attached to something. So, as you can see, I have all of my uh, stitches in. It's basically purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. You know, pretty basic. So I have two cables that I'm going to do on this row. This is a basic braid. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, so I'm going to start off first by pulling it through one loop, two loops, and then I'm going to do these three to get it to the center. And now, here's my technique. I'm going to pull the working loop off my crochet hook, make it nice and big so I don't accidentally pull it out. And I'm going to take the bobby pin, I'm going to put it through these three. These three are going to be the ones I'm going to switch over, right? So I slide them on like that. So they're pretty secure because bobby pins are designed to do that. Now I can just pull the loops off of my crochet hook. There's never fear that these are gonna go, that these are gonna pull tight. They're secure. So I'm gonna move my bobby pin to the back, because that's what the this cable calls for. I'm gonna take my working loop, put it back on my crochet hook, and pull it tight. Now you see there's a big gap here, so what I do is I pinch it so that they're together. I don't want a very huge uh, first knit. So they're pinched together and then I just continue on as usual. I don't move the, the loops or anything, cross them back and forth. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to return three. Now I've done that, I take off the working loop again, take these three stitches that I took off, slide them back on. And then I pull the bobby pin off. You see how it's pretty much impossible for the loop to be pulled tight. That is so good for me because I am kind of a klutz, you know. <laughs> so I put the working loop back on, I pull it tight. And I forgot, you have to chain one in the middle of your uh, cable. This is a six cable, or six stitch cable. So I chain one, and then I go on, do the next three. Boom. That's it for the cable. You see it's kind of a mess, but that's always fixed on the first, second, and third uh, row after this, so I'm gonna do that one more time with my second cable. So I'm back to my nine knit stitches here. Do the same thing, pull off this, take my bobby pin, slide it under here. One thing you have to watch out for if you have yarn that's prone to splitting, 
don't stick the bobby pin through the yarn. Don't grab half of the yarn or half of the loop. So they're secure in here. I take off the three loops. Never in danger of them falling off. I can hold it. I can move it around. It's totally secure because these bobby pins pinch them down. And you can probably do this with any yarn. This is a DK weight yarn, so I could imagine you can do this with any size yarn. So this one I'm going to hold in front, put the working loop back on, pull it tight, pinch it so that they're together. It may sound weird pinching it together, it sounds like you're cheating, but it, it actually works out. So do these three. Don't forget to chain one. That makes your cables pop. Then pull the loop. Stick these back on. Pull the bobby pin off. Put the working loop back on. See, it actually works pretty quick. You have to stretch out the, the working loop twice, but <clears throat> I think it saves time and you know, not losing the entire row and not having to cross the stitches or anything like that. So I'm going to work these last three knits and now I'm home free. I can do the rest of the row. I'm done. So it's pretty quick. I did two cables, three stitches each. I'm done with the row. And it looks like a mess. But on my first, second, and third row after this, it'll look much better. That's the technique I used for this entire thing. I used a different technique down here. I didn't really like it or I just wasn't experienced. Uh, so I like this up here. It looks nice and smooth. They pop. And that's my method. Thanks a lot.